Thanks so much for having me here with you today. It is great to be back at Santa Clara amidst colleagues, friends, and now, of course, our newest Bronco, Julie Sullivan. You know, I had the pleasure of spending some time with Julie in the weeks preceding this inauguration. And we discussed what qualities make a good university president. And I'd like to share with you what President Sullivan told me are the top three qualities for a university president. Number one is resilience. You know, becoming a university president is like becoming captain of a ship, except this ship is full of thousands of students and parents and alumni and trustees. You get the picture. Yeah. While steering this enormous responsibility, you have to be resilient in order to pull through the waves. I remember when COVID hit in 2020 and the entire University of California system moved to remote learning. We issued $350 million in dorm refund checks, converted all of our teaching hospitals to be COVID hospitals, and we ran the entire University of California system from my dining room table since our offices were closed. Those weren't smooth waters, but we sailed ahead stronger than ever, I think. Resilience was critical in getting us to the end of the pandemic's lockdown. Now the second quality President Sullivan listed was energy. Having an enthusiastic captain in the face of adversity and in times of celebration is critical. Those moments mean your thousands of passengers are looking to you for words, actions, next steps, and reassurance. It takes energy to have a full day of meetings with students, faculty, and staff, enjoy dinner with an alumni, and then perhaps go to a concert or play in Mayor Theater or attend a basketball game here in Levy. And then get up early the next morning to work on something exciting, like the budget. <laughs> but a university president has to be a source of energy, and President Sullivan knows this more than anyone. And the third quality, perhaps, most evident from President Sullivan's journey from St. Thomas to Santa Clara is courage. Courage is stepping up to the plate and being ready and willing to serve. It takes courage to become the first layperson and first woman president of Santa Clara. It takes courage, yeah. It takes courage to be ready to face both calm seas and swelling tides. And it was clear to me in speaking with her, as it is now to all of you, that President Sullivan enjoys these three qualities in abundance. She will be the rising tide that lifts all ships around her, and most importantly, the ship that is Santa Clara University. I am so proud, and as, alum, as an alumna, to stand here and watch Julie become Santa Clara's next president. And as someone who was herself the first woman president, I was the first woman president of the University of California. We belong to the same club. And let us both um, uh, work together to make sure that we are not the last. Thank you very much.